Okay guys, it's time to continue with this video game compilation thingy. And yeah, we're gonna resume Capcom Classics Collection on the PlayStation 2. So, so far I think we played two games only. It's been a while, you know. Um, I did... Ghosts and Goblins. And I think I did Ghosts and Ghosts. I don't remember very well. And Street Fighter 2, the original Street Fighter 2. That's all I remember. So today, most likely I'm gonna do two games uh, in, in a single video, two for the price of one, basically. And we're gonna take a look at a super mega classic. We are gonna play on easy because we are fucking pussies. No, no sound remixes. We're just gonna play the original versions. Um. It saves my settings. Yeah, we're gonna play 1942, one of the first Capcom games ever released. The very first one, as you know, is Volgus. I think it's in this compilation, as a matter of fact. So we're gonna play it sooner than later. Alright, it's a much smaller screen than I thought. Can I actually adjust this so I can look at it like bigger on my TV? Oh, this is as big as I, it can be. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit. Hold on. Normal or enhanced? You know, let's go for the enhanced version. It makes a. Um, better use of the screen itself, I guess. I mean, the game itself still looks vertical, but you see the data to the sides. Pretty much like they did in, in the um, NES conversions of many of these vertical arcade games. Especially the Namco ones, like Pac-Man, Galaxian, Galaga, etc. Playing this with a controller is definitely not my cup of tea, as you can see. I'm not moving really as quickly as I would like. I'm not killing all enemies. But hey, we're gonna be playing this for a little bit. I mean, I don't know for how long. This is one of those games that you you feel you played it all like after 10 minutes even though this one is a 32 level long game I mean let's be honest all the levels look kind of the same dude I cannot get a single power up because I cannot do a, a full killing chain if you will again those are the risks of basically Playing this with a controller, I don't, I do not blame it on anything else because usually I do a little bit better than this. That was super mega close. I should have died clearly. Apparently, you are unable to change the amount of lives. I actually was looking at it in the options and. Or than the difficulty. Okay. Shorter level than he thought. So yeah, this uh, game compilation specifically features 1942, 1943, which is the direct sequel, and also the the Japanese um, special version 1943 Kai, which. It is thought that it is basically the, the Japanese version of the Japanese perspective on on uh, the Battle of Midway from uh, World War II, as opposed to the regular 1943, which in theory is the American perspective on the conflict, but I think it's not the case. Because you play as uh, Americans, basically, on both versions, if I'm not totally mistaken. 
All of these games, if I'm not mistaken, also uh, are on this uh, latest compilation that came out last year, Capcom Arcade Stadium, um, that I actually got on Steam, but it's also possible to get on the PS4 and Switch. Not sure about the Xbox. Alright, this this part where particularly it's been uh, helpful so far. Don't go, don't go. Yeah, but of course I got fucking surrounded, so... Okay, every time I respawn from a death, at least I'm recovering a power-up. Well, that one was basically a bomb, not a real power-up. And somehow I got an extra life. Could not recall when. Well, th that killing was super fast. I mean, these planes are fucking huge. They are like 10 times your size, and... Honestly, I didn't really... Press the shoot button as many times. Okay, two levels. Out of the way. Doing a little bit of a better job than I thought. I mean, I would be perf I mean, personally very satisfied if I beat one, maybe two more levels. Can't really forecast if that's gonna happen or not. It all depends on two factors. One, if I get a power-up soon. Number two, if I'm lucky enough. Number three? No, number three doesn't count. Skills. But I don't have them, so... I discarded immediately as an option. Last life. Yeah, I should use the um, the flippy move thing often. And once again, I'm missing out on power-ups because I'm unable to kill five specific enemies in a row. Okay, that motherfucker that was behind me couldn't do much about it. I don't think you can continue this game. I'm afraid. Couple names. Yeah, remember that was a thing. Yeah, let's put a, a, a cool, decent name. Like just my initials. Hey, I can continue. Okay. Is it because of the uh, version, or it has always been possible to continue in the arcade? I wasn't aware of this, in all honesty. I mean, depending on how I do, I can play a little bit longer this game. Well, um, I emphasize, depending on how I do, and I press the wrong button, of course. Hey, the babies! Probably this is the best power-up in the game. And of course, your hitbox becomes... a lot more huge, as you can tell. I already got... killed, and... yeah. So did I. Okay, what's with the score? Oh, that was the highest score, okay. And I was like, dude... How did I get 59,000 so fast? But no, that was my previous high score. <laughs> right now, we are at 35. Close enough. I mean, if I... If I can beat the level like I apparently just did... In this one, continue... I'm more than just happy. And I continue with my baby. I know, it's a side ship, not a baby, but I always called it babies. Yeah, this is definitely the ultimate power-up.
Let's see if with this we can actually kill the, the whole red plane chain thing so I can actually improve something. Well, I did earlier, but I just got a bunch of bombs. Nothing really... something that improved my current stats. Also, again, I haven't used the flip. I should. Oh, what, what's with this one? Oh, it's another baby? Yasishi. So they are forcing basically you to kill two chains. And I didn't get anything out of it other than just points. I don't see my powers increased. I don't see any extra life. Alright, let's play and complain less. How about that? Is it me, or this horde of enemies is actually kind of less aggressive? Probably they are shooting less bullets because I'm killing them fast enough, or they are really less aggressive? Alright. I honestly feel like the levels in general were actually longer than they are right now. Or the levels are this short, or maybe I'm surviving a little bit longer. So I'm getting that impression. So yeah, four stages already out of the way. Now I'm gonna go for the 32, obviously, and I got an extra life, also. So this single baby thing... It's been kind of beneficial. Hey, we can finally see some land. Well, that time, I got a... I, I should blame it on, on the terrain, the colors. Kind of the bullet right there was blending in. You see babies? No. It's a f the four bullet power up. At least we're changing the environment a little bit. Even though my point stands that basically the whole game is quite repetitive. I mean, all shoot em ups end up being repetitive in the sense that they, they only change backgrounds and some of the boss attacks. But the enemy types usually repeat. Okay, um... Yeah, let's go for another CRG. But this time, without a heart... I'm, I'm pretending I'm a male. Like a Pokemon. I guess I can keep continuing. Okay, I resume from the checkpoint also. I mean, when I started the level, I was on the sea, so I'm assuming I started from the checkpoint and not from the very beginning. So yeah, this is a game that you can eventually beat by credit feeding. Babies? No, four bullets. It all depends on the color of the POW item you collect. Shit. Yeah, definitely these enemies are more aggressive. They're shooting bullets from... like, almost the top of the screen. I don't know how many checkpoints there are in every stage, but... I know that by surviving a good 30 seconds, you can actually make progress. Okay, I didn't survive enough to reach the next checkpoint, actually. But let's say a minute. Okay. Like I said, too many bullets. Let me keep trying until I at least beat this level and then... We are definitely moving on. I was expecting to play this for 10 minutes. I've been kind of accomplishing that. I had no right for a name entry. <laughs> yeah, I did poorly that time. 
Okay, that was ass. That was the big ship, wasn't it? But yeah, that was um a whole lot of ass. Of course, some of those stats were fucking surprising. I was right behind, or right next to some guy, and I thought I actually got him. But he got me first. So yeah, you have to basically let him go away. And if you're lucky enough not to be in fire range... Even that guy was actually easier than the other two. So yeah, we reached the water and I thought it was safe. This must be like the last section. I was right at the end. So wh where I died the first time was pretty much the end of the level. That's funny. But yeah, you get the idea about what 1942 is. I mean, I'm more of a fan of the sequels, to be honest. I like 1943 Kai a lot. I, I love 1941, which isn't in this compilation, but it is on the Capcom Arcade Stadium. And 1940, uh, sorry, 19XX and 1944, both also in that collection. Those are definitely much shorter games, but definitely more pleasant to play. 1942 is fun, but for a little while, or for a little while, and then... Uh, it gets kind of repetitive and not so much fun anymore. So the next game that we're doing today is Pirate Ship Higimaru. Classic, another pioneer of Capcom video gaming. I believe this is the second or the third video game Capcom ever released. I think it was the second one, not sure. But yeah, this is from 1984, basically. Okay, I didn't really adjust the, the settings of the difficulty itself. Oh yeah, look at the second place. Dixie Ass. That, that is some name. I mean, I must have put it in, in some previous run that I did on some, on some live stream or something. It's not the first time I do this compilation on camera, but I think it's the first time I do it on YouTube specifically. So yeah, this game... Some... Simple puzzle game... Super fun... In which... I'm gonna adjust the difficulty. Uh, basically in this game, all you have to do is... Kill all enemies on screen, all those pirates... By... Okay... The difficulties isn't an option, but lives are, and it was at max, I think. Yeah, five lives is enough. Not sure if you can continue in this one. I mean, it would have surprised me if you could. So yeah, for this game specifically, I'm using the analogs on the PlayStation 2 controller. For some reason, the D-pad is not all that accurate. Okay, when I was giving this game a test earlier today, I was actually trying it out with the sound remix option and it, it didn't sound great. I didn't really like it very much, the remix. So I prefer the classic tunes. In the case of Street Fighter, it was a little bit of a quick test or, or a quick try, but... So yeah, like I said, in this game, all you need to do is kill all enemies, get special items that give you points, like this fish that appear behind this. These are uh, blinking barrels. That anchor right there paralyzes enemies. And that's it. It's as simple as that. The rest of the levels are basically the same, but of course with a different color scheme, more enemies, different locations for enemies showing up. Well, that gives you a, a big, big bunch of points. 
combos are also a thing in games like this. Well, by now this couldn't be considered like a Pac-Man clone anymore. The mere fact of being a, a puzzle game. This one featured... Actual... I mean, not, not collecting items or, or grabbing coins or grabbing things as a requirement to beat a level, but instead in here you need to basically... get rid of all the enemies in a specific screen. A little bit of a different mechanic, if you will. That's invincibility. So yeah, that pirate over there with a the beard... Well, actually, all of these pirates have beards, but I mean, I'm talking about the... This sort of um, Captain Hook ripoff doesn't count for the enemy uh, requirement to be the level. It's just a special enemy that fucks around that you can defeat but comes back quickly enough, but it's not really a requirement per se to, to be a specific level. So in case you see him, see him alive and, and even so, I, I can still beat the level. That's basically why. See? You can get rid of him. And as you can see, I'm using those uh, big coins to defeat the enemies. I don't know if that gives me extra points, honestly. Okay, I wasn't able to <laughs> drop the barrel for some reason. This game got a sequel. If you guys remember, when I did this special Capcom vs Konami feature on Twitch in... When was it? 2017? Wow, it's been five years already. It's been a while. But yeah, when I did that feature, I played not only this game, but also... Oh well. The sequel to this that came out on the Famicom and the MSX. Uh, in Japan only. Well, for... for the two versions actually, for emulators specifically, there is um, an English patch, and I played all the way through the uh, MSX version with a guide, of course, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to beat it, but yeah, that was one of the most awesome 8-bit games I've ever played. It's a much longer game with the same... Uh, mechanics, defeating enemies by throwing barrels and, and other things at the enemies, but exploring a lot of worlds. Kind of a Legend of Zelda clone, if you will. Going through different worlds and different uh, locations. Defeating a boss at the end, etc., etc. A much more comple complex, sorry, concept for for a game like this, which is only about defeating pirates on a ship. So this one counts as a what? A bonus thing? I don't see an enemy count. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there is an enemy count actually at the top of the screen. But yeah, this one is definitely um. I don't know if you actually die or lose a life by by getting touched by an enemy. Yeah, these pirates right here get stunned a lot by themselves. Paralyzed. Can you take actually these? Oh yeah, you can. Kind of work like the coin, but they still roll for a little bit. I'm kind of ignoring some of these items. I, I'm just concerned about getting rid of all the enemies on the screen, not necessarily about collecting points. 
guess I should focus on a little bit on both. I don't know if you can get extra lives out of the points. Alright, two more lives, or is it this the last one? No, oh, last life. Matter of fact. Oh yeah, you actually keep your progress in between lives. Oh, that was a triple kill. No, or a double kill at the very least. Felt pretty good. So yeah, even though you see two enemies here, actually one of them only counts. For level progression. I think in the entire game we have 16 decks. And then it basically goes back to deck 1. So it loops, essentially. I don't know if you can continue, let's find out. Alright, let's put some good names now. C-R-G and star. Star, 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 star. Sorry, Dixie ass. You were pushed to third place. I don't think they're gonna... It, it, no, it's not gonna make me... Or it's not gonna let me save. Oh, sorry, continue. But I'll play it again. Let's see if we can do better this time around. One more try. One more attempt. This game is fun. Totally worth giving it another credit. So yeah, the enemy count is up there. I don't know if you can see, right below the, uh, the score, your current score. You see enemy faces. Even though I'm playing with the analog stick, it's not 100% reliable. But I think I'm definitely doing better like this, if I were using the... the D-pad. Obviously, the results would be incredibly better with a keyboard. But I'm playing on a console. Sometimes, a, a good strat for this game is to be patient. As you can see, I tend to move a lot, or, or never stop moving. Sometimes just having a barrel and stay there and wait until someone comes by, good things can happen, like you, you just saw. I mean, enemies will eventually chase you. Well, right there I had actually no time to to drop the barrel. It didn't give me any time. But I think that's not a bad idea at all. To do something like that. Like, instead of going after the enemies, chasing them in a way, which could be beneficial, but much more risky at the same time. You can just be patient and prioritize survival, if you will. Just saying. Right there, I have no so much space to work with. So all I can do here is wait. Yeah, like I said, with little space. Yeah, right here is definitely a must to fucking move. Also, items. Okay, when an enemy is stunned, you cannot kill him by just touching him. You definitely need to throw a barrel. I believe the invisibility item is in every stage. I remember at some point, like, breaking, pretty much being in every stage very quickly because I was getting the invisibility item every single time. I'm dead. Yeah. Well, I'm being more careful in this one attempt, and I'm doing worse. That tends to happen to me a lot. Wait, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Oh, 
Okay, that should do it. High point deck. Yeah, it should kind of like as a, as a regular deck, this one right here. I don't know, it sounds like a bonus type of area in which nothing happens if you actually get killed by an enemy. Yeah, double kill, sure. I mean, yeah, they emphasize the fact that this is a high point deck. Now, do points give you lives? That's what I want to know. I don't seem to be getting more points. Yeah, this counts as a regular level as well. Alright. Why did I hesitate like that? This with a keyboard wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I was definitely doing more careful, or, or being more careful, sorry, in general. But in the end, I ended up doing worse. So this is where I actually ran out of lives, right? In this one deck? Or was it in the next one? Oh, here definitely I do have more space. So see if we can actually get something good out of this. Okay, the, the anchor doesn't work on this captain guy. Enemies than he thought. And he killed a bunch of them. And there's still a lot of them left. Okay. A time limit. So yeah, being patient and and calculate things. It's also a double-edged sword, as you can tell. So yeah, last attempt I actually got to deck 6. And I got an extra life for getting 50,000 points. It takes a while, actually, for you to, to get a life. And I lost it immediately. But at least I'm giving one more attempt, right? Could be worse. with double kills. So yeah, as you can see, this boss captain guy or whatever reappears pretty much two seconds after I kill him. No special item, huh? And that's it. Game over. I think I did slightly better than last attempt. Not so much better, though. Uh, you know what? Too many nice names. Let's go for something typical, shall we? Yeah, Cox. Dicks and ass is gone, but now we have Cox. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today. Next video, most likely I'm gonna play a couple more games. So, I'll see you then.